Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I thought we would do... What is that doing? So for today's video, I thought we would do a get ready with me in quarantine. Get ready to go nowhere. Okay, so I'm going to moisturise my face quickly. I use the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser. I love this stuff. It smells like uh, Terry's Chocolate Oranges, which is great. I'm just going to take my foundation that I've really been enjoying at the minute. It matches my skin tone quite well. And it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I found like this has been really good for my skin. It hasn't broke me out, to be honest with you. No word of a lie. Um, there's so many like... I just wanted to like talk about what everyone's been doing really in quarantine like a lot of people have been cleaning i know that like i can i've seen on my instagram stories and stuff that so many people have just been like rapidly cleaning it's quite funny a lot of people have downloaded sims i've seen that as well i was lucky enough to already have the sims i got on that hype when it first came out and stupidly paid the full price and now it's like 11 pound for everybody else so a bit fuming but i'm not going to talk about it it's absolutely fine yeah so i'm going to use cream contour stick this is the nyx contour stick and well it's not a contour stick it's a foundation stick but i use it as a contour stick and i love cream contour now i never did at one point yeah i've read a lot of books whilst being in quarantine but i've read a lot of books anyway because i set myself a challenge at the beginning of the year to read more books because i love reading reading is like my fave one of my favorite things to do but i just kind of got stuck in a rut of like finding books that i thought were going to be good and then they were shit and then i didn't want to finish them yeah i kind of stopped reading for a while at the beginning of the year i said to myself you know what i'm going to read more and i'm going to read 52 books in one year which is obviously a book a week. Uh, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to start reading again. And I've read, in just March, six books. <laughs> Whoopsie. But I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, really enjoying it. So I'm not too mad about it. Um, so I have been reading a lot of books. I've been ordering my books mainly off Amazon because Amazon have very cheap books, which is a plus. The cream contour will work, I promise. It looks absolutely awful right now, but it will work. Now that that's kind of done, for now, I need to kind of blend it a bit more with um, a bronzer, but it's done for now. I'm going to powder. I use eyeshadows as kind of like makeup products on my face. I use like the shimmery shades in this for highlight as well. You'll see that, but I'm using this shade from the more the x jeffree star palette and it's the shade lynn and it's like a really pigmented shade and it just brightens under your eyes really nicely then what i will do is take my charlotte tilbury powder i really like this powder and then i'll just take this um edge of my morphe sponge and just dip it in and then create the line so moving on i'm gonna do my bronzer i'm gonna use the fancy beauty bronzer in private island i believe yeah i'm gonna be heavily bronzed in this by the way but that is the way i like my makeup it doesn't mean that you have to do it this way i know a lot of people are quite fictitious fictitious i think that's the word fictitious i don't fucking know um about their bronzing and whatever but yeah so i was saying about books wasn't i i've read like quite a few good books and I was just wondering if anybody really wanted to know about them. Probably not, but it's absolutely fine. I'm going to go in with my NARS um, blusher. This is the, I use the Off Limits, which is this middle one. It's just a little bit shimmery. It's really nice. I like it. Fuck. Sorry about all the noise. We're in quarantine, guys. We're all together. No one in my house is quiet. My dad's at work, like, working downstairs. Mum's upstairs rapidly cleaning. John's in bed watching watching a film i'm here trying to film a video with a very loud mother yeah so i was like obsessed with trying to make youtube a career and i just was like yeah that's what i want to do this is my like what i'm going to try and make my job and i've done well i won't lie to you like to earn money from it it's a it's a step 
but I also realised that I'm trying to get this as a career because it's an easier option for me that makes sense it's not i'm not saying it's an easier option like in in general of work because i'm not joking you trying to do this as a job is so hard like trying to create content think of content put content out edit it get like do a deadline have enough money to do it like it's a lot and i actually don't think anybody really realizes i think a lot of people just click sit behind a screen watch it and then think oh that's done but there's been so much gone into it but for so long i was like i want to make youtube my career i want it to be my job and i i would love it to be my job i really would but i also think it's a cop out for me in a way of not having to deal with my anxiety because i'm working from home i don't want to not do this like obviously i'm always gonna well as long as it's running i'm always gonna do this but i don't think i'm gonna make a career out of it because it's not gonna be good for me to it's not gonna be good for me to just sit and kind of ponder and like work from home because i'm too afraid to work outside if that made sense and i have so many like dreams that i want to achieve and so many things i want to do that i don't know why i wouldn't <clears throat> sorry i got hay fever i haven't got rona so I think I was kind of using it as a bit of a cop-out, I won't lie to you. And I want to own my own funeral business eventually. I want to be a funeral director. So I want to own a place to do it. So I need to like kind of sort my act out, I think. And get, get moving on a career. Because I am a career woman. I am very um, money-driven. I am very... I just, I like working. I loved my job before. I loved going to work. So, I mean, I'm still going to do YouTube and whatever. Don't get me wrong. Like, I really want to continue this because I just enjoy it. I find it fun and I find it a hobby. And I've got to a point now where I'm like, right, I don't care about numbers. I don't care about views. I just care about if people enjoy what I'm putting out and if, you know like having a chat with my followers and that's literally all i really care about at the moment yeah i'm just gonna put my lashes on and then i'll come back i'm back my lashes were being dickheads but we've got them on so far so i'm gonna take this morphe x draft star palette again and i'm gonna use the shade designer label it's just this one here there lynn is there that's when i used under my eyes and then the designer label one's here and all I'm going to do is take my brush. How blinding this is. Incredible. I know it's like a streak right now, but I can I blend it out. Amazing. And then I just take my sponge and just kind of blend over the top so it's not too much. For lips, I'm going to use my lip liner in Coco, the only bloody lip liner that I ever use. People are probably getting a little bit sick of me using it, but it's fine. And then I'm just gonna fill in the sides a little bit. Then <coughs> I'm just gonna take Carmex and use that noodle, and it creates like a really nice gloss. Okay, so that is the end of this get ready with me whilst we're in quarantine. Leaving my hair just down and like flat, so I can't be fucked to do anything to it. And I'm just in like a little slip dress from PLT. But <laughs> that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.